backwards or forwards. For some reason, I like to do them backwards. You're stretching a quad one to three seconds and step back. Nothing says you can't do it forward. For some reason, when it steps down, it flows backwards better than me. So try backwards, see if you can do it. The leg you're standing on stays slightly bent. You're holding it for one to three seconds. The le this leg should be slightly bent. So not only, we, we already stretched out on the floor, got the legs more stretched out. We foam rolled to dig out the knots. We stretched with the stretch strap. Now we're also not only stretching here, but we're also now getting this other leg warmed up, ready to work, because this balance, see, you can see you're gonna lose your balance here and there. That's what you kind of want them to do a little bit, is to work on that balance, blah, 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 a little bit each time. So right away, we're going backwards with that. Now we're gonna go forward with knee hugs. Knee hug, up to the chest, and step down. Look at my chest is lifted the whole time. I'm bringing the leg to my body. I'm not bringing my body to my leg. You'll see people do this all the time. They're straining their back and then they're coming here and they're all over the place. Whatever they're, however they could go, if they have to reach here, that's fine. They have to, if people have grabbed a pant leg before, they have to, they, whatever they have to do, stand straight up and bring the leg up to your chest and here we're stepping forward. Now we're gonna go backwards again for hamstring. So you're gonna, the front leg is gonna be straight, tiny bend, you don't want it locking out, hyperextending your knee with the toe up in the air. Butt goes back, I'm gonna reach forward, but look at my back when I reach forward. We don't wanna do this, that's doing nothing for your hamstring, it's just killing your back. So my shoulders are back, I'm just here. You're not gonna get very far, cause look, I'm keeping my back totally straight, and then you're gonna walk backwards while you're doing that. So here, come up, I just like the chest fling for the hell of it, and step right into the next one. Stretch your hamstring, back stays straight, don't round the back to get down there. If you can only get this far down, that's fine, because then all, if you're just gonna round your back, that does not, that my hamstring's not stretching anymore anyway. So if you only can get a little bit down, that's fine. Just get down as far as you can without rounding the back. So that was backwards, now we're gonna go forward again for one more. It's gonna be pull, uh, outer hip glute stretch. You get one hand on your ankle, one on the outside of your foot, and bringing this up to your shin is like piled floor. So you don't want your ankle bending here. The one is under your ankle, keeping this straight. And I'm just kind of lifting this up and step forward. Hold it for however long you need to. And at the same time, it's getting your legs ready to move and run, jump, work, squat, deadlift, lunge, whatever the hell you're about to do. And then upper body. So these are all standing, active, dynamic, getting us more ready to work. Obviously, you're laying on the floor for the foam roller. That's not really much warm. It's just tight, loosening everything up, getting blood flow. Then the stretch strap, you're still laying down. So it's like the next level. Now we're getting closer to ready to work. So now we're on our feet. You wouldn't do all these every time, but depending on the work is, you do some of these or half of these or all of these, whatever. So now just the arms, big forward shoulder circles, loose. They're floppy, loose forward shoulder circles without snapping your shoulder. And then come backward shoulder circles. And then you're gonna come in and out, right here, right on my top, right on my bottom. Even here, keep your feet moving. Just see, so you got your legs ready to move. Let's just, if they're just walking, stepping, as long as it's not throwing off your shoulder, then catch for a stretch even, for the shoulder. Fling it open, catch for a stretch on the other side. One more time each side, fling it open, catch. Still moving your feet, whether it's just in place, stepping, marching, keeping your blood flowing. One more, wide feet, wider than shoulder width. It's kind of like the foam roller one we did in our back when we went out overhead and to the side. So you're just gonna reach down with your back straight again, because we're looking for that hamstring, come up, open the chest up, fling the chest open. Come back down, and this time you're gonna come overhead with your hands overlap to really open up your upper back. Don't arch your lower back. So I'm not doing that, that's not what we're looking for. It's just gonna kill you. You're looking to be opening up upper back. We're thinking upper body here. Lower body stretch to the bottom, then alternate those two. Upper body, lower, upper, right there. That's it just for these basic standing stretches. Done.